guys, we're in the departures lounge. We're on our way to Hanoi. Vietnam, baby. We've had the last few days here in Vientiane in the capital and I'm not gonna lie to you, I did try and vlog, I really did at multiple points. Honestly, there's nothing to do here. We've been here for three nights, four days, and it's been four days too long. A lot of people suggest only coming here for like one or two nights and I would definitely listen to them. It's really, listen. really quite boring. <laughs> Basically, the only thing that we did do here in Vientiane is we went to visit the Buddha Park. It was about a 40 minute drive on the scooter to get over there and we were probably there for about 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. I'll insert some clips over the top here so you can see what we got up to in the Buddha Park. I think it was 40,000 each to enter, so it was about two pounds each and it was a good experience. Obviously one of the main attractions here in Vientiane, so I am glad we went and did it, but not really worth coming all that way for. But hopefully as of tomorrow onwards, we have more of a exciting itinerary planned. We'll update you once we are on the other side in Vietnam. Guys, we're through. We've made it to Vietnam. Callum's just gone for a wee, so I thought I'd quickly update the vlog. The last few days we've been stressing a little bit because on our original visa form, when we applied for it, we put the land port down because we were meant to get the bus, but then the bus was cancelled because of the new year. So we ended up booking a flight, which meant obviously we were entering the country through the airport rather than the land port. And we had read online that like, basically that's a no-go. You cannot do that. You have to enter through the port that you put on your visa. Even the lady at our hostel, she said like, yeah, that's not gonna work. And blah, blah, and everyone was psyching us up to think that it wasn't gonna work. We thought, do you know what? Worst comes to worst, we take the 14 day visa, which you get for free in the UK, and then we'll just have to go back and reassess in two weeks time. But I was stood at the immigration desk and she was looking at my visa and I was getting really freaked out and she stamped it and now we're in for 30 days. Thank God, because I would have had a whole breakdown. <laughs> also today has been a lucky day because my card actually got swallowed by an ATM machine on Sunday. And I basically thought I wasn't getting it back. Everyone says, once your card is gone, it's gone. But I phoned the bank and then went in today and they retrieved it from the machine for me. So not only have we passed through the immigration in Vietnam, but I've also got my card back. So it's been a really, really good day today and just hoping for better things coming in Vietnam. So we've arrived in Vietnam. We've just come into this little cafe because it is about 10 o'clock at night. We've gone for this ham, cheese, egg, bacon, sandwich. You know, thought maybe it would come out like a baguette, but um, turns out it's like this. So it's a bit of a DIY jobby tonight. thing ever we were just stopped by the lake and these um, little Vietnamese children came up and one of them said to me can I have a talk with you and so we were talking for ages I think Callum might have filmed some of it yeah. she was asking me all sorts of questions about why am I in Hanoi uh, what am I gonna do in Hanoi she was asking my name and where I'm from and I think she was just trying to test her English but she was so good at English bless her and then obviously they asked to take a photo with us at the end it was really cute and really wholesome so that's made my day sat here at a little cafe on Train Street in Hanoi. Callum has decided to order an egg coffee which is quite um, famous here in Vietnam. 
Let us know what you think. Yeah, so I started stirring it, and then I got told off because you don't stir it. You have to scoop out the foam, have the foam. It's really nice. It's like it's frothy egg white, but like sweet and frothy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so little. I think we should definitely eat it. Is this one snuggling? What's it doing? Yeah. to see a traditional water puppet show. The tickets cost 100,000 dong each. The show is on now, let's go. today in Hanoi City. Basically all we've done yet this morning is we went to the shops and bought a fake North Face coat for our Haijan Loop trip and now we've decided to come to prison here. So we're gonna go and have a look around the prison. of our 48 hours in Hanoi vlog. Thank you so much for watching if you have made it this far into the video. As I am filming this outro, we have just got back from our three day experience on the Hajan Loop here in Vietnam, but that will be my next video, so please do make sure to stay tuned for that. My general conclusion on Hanoi as a city, it is mental. The cars here especially and the vehicles on the road are absolutely nuts. You can barely cross the road safely, but there is a lot to see and do here. Definitely worth spending a couple of days to make sure you get everything ticked off of your list. There is also a few things that we didn't end up doing such as the Ho Chi Minh mausoleum and the women's museum which would have been quite cool to do as well but we were on a limited time constraint due to doing the Hajan Loop. But all in all we've had a fun few days here starting our travels in Vietnam. Thank you so much again for watching. If you are not already please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of our travel content going forward. Don't forget you can also follow us over on our social channels on Instagram and TikTok if you are interested as well. But yeah we're going to leave this one here. Thank you so much again for watching and we really hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.